everyone. I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing Big Green Book Reviews. Today we're talking about All American Boys, which is an older book, but we just went to see the authors and we read it and we thought we should talk about it. And now we sound like fangirls. We are totally weird. fangirls, so, but I'm okay with that. But, um, it's, but it's Jason Reynolds. It's by Jason Reynolds and Brendan, Brendan Keeley, I believe it's Kylie. Kylie. It's Kylie. <laughs> I just said, and I gave it to you I, so that I didn't have to say his I name. I just said I was going to say it correctly. <laughs> it's Kylie. And then I just, she said it Correct. I did it I, like two seconds ago. Um, <laughs> this book is about Rashad and Quinn. And Rashad one night, one day after school, goes into the local, like, Mickey Mart. Store. Yeah. And people think that he's trying to rob the convenience store. And a cop very brutally beats him. And Quinn witnesses this. And Rashad, the rest of the book is Rashad trying to deal with what happened to him. And Quinn trying to understand this person who he actually knew who was the police officer why this happened and try to kind of settle in his mind how could this happen and um it's beautifully written like the i just like can't even speak enough about how wonderfully written this book it's is it's beautifully written i think the it, not only is it beautifully beautifully written but the layers to this narrative is just phenomenal it's not like caricatures of characters Everybody feels so real that it isn't just, they aren't just one thing and it isn't just one thing versus another thing. It's, it's all kind of interwoven. It's all just layered and beautiful and ha. And you can tell that the authors thought about what they were doing. It wasn't just like spitting, spewing things onto the page. They were starting a discussion. Yeah. And like, so after seeing Jason Reynolds, like, Seeing Jason Reynolds talking about this book, it even kind of opened this book up even more for me because he was talking about how, for Rashad, and I hope I'm not giving too much away, so kind of spoiler alert, but basically he was talking about how he didn't want Rashad to die in this situation because this type of situation does not just happen and people die. It happens all the time on a daily basis, and he wanted to kind of bring that to light. And I mean, that even points to just how well thought out this whole book was. Well, I thought they did something really beautiful because um, Rashad deals with everything that's going on, like all of these things that he's trying to process. And it's a lot of it's in his head. Like there's a lot of him just trying to really understand what's going on. Whereas Quinn is like out interacting with people and he's trying to figure out by talking to other people what happened. And I thought that was a wonderful thing to do because a kid reading this might be like, well, I do process everything in my head or I need to talk to someone. And I think it helps open it to more audiences and open more discussion. Well, I agree. And I agree. It opens it more to audiences. But I also think that that par paralleling adds to the beauty and the layers of this novel because the authors were really able to parallel the two stories. It doesn't look exactly like the other, but you can see this mirroring and it really adds to the discussion in that, you know, no matter your background, you can kind of find yourself somewhere and then find that connection in the other character to really kind of be able to see it from all sides. Sure. It's just, and we're really fangirling, but like we literally are. this is one, this is probably one of my favorite books of the year. It is one of the favorite books I've read this year. Um, and I will say I had I had checked out another Brendan Kiley book, and I had to take it back. And I, I'm planning on reading it now because yeah. I had read other things by Jason Reynolds, and Jason Reynolds always brings it. But I, yeah, I want to read more by Brendan Kiley too I, yeah. because he was just as skilled. And I don't think people know him as well as Jason Reynolds, no. but they're both they're, – they're worth reading. I mean, it, just based on this book alone. Right. I mean, this book was phenomenal. If you haven't read it, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. <laughs> so, um, we should rate it. Okay. So we are... Do I really even need to rate I it? I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we had Yetis, this is a Yeti. Yeah. Um, we do a unicorn scale. It's five down to two unicorns. But if it's not worth of a unicorn, because it's not sparkly and special, it becomes just a horse. Um, I think I gave it a four on Goodreads, but I think I'm going to give it a five. So I gave it five unicorns with a leprechaun riding on its back. Yeah. And that's where we are with All American Boys. All right. Adios. Bye.